perfect. What's up guys, this is Arugius 808 uh, I'm here to show you a deck profile of the new Potomac deck that I have. Uh, start off we have the starting Vanguard. Uh, it's probably the best starting Vanguard that you can have. The other ones still work, but you probably don't want to run them. Um, since this one is when it boosts a Nobutamba and that unit hits Vanguard, you can Soul Blast 1 and choose 2 units in your opponent's bind zone and retire those units. Uh, so for the trigger lineup, we have 4 heals, 4 draws, 4 stands, and 4 crits. Uh, you have that trigger lineup because you are forced to. You don't have a choice in this matter. Uh, and then kind of just teched in, we have two of the Hage uh, Disclaimer, I'm sorry if I pronounce anything wrong, uh, any of the card names wrong, but Hage is great for especially early game, uh, especially if you have more cards, uh, if your opponent has more cards than you in their hand and you use him to guard with, you can counter blast one and your opponent chooses a card in their hand and discards it. Again, fantastic in early game. So, and then into the grade ones, we have the perfect guard, uh, four of, three of Dreadmaster. Uh, it's fantastic either behind Vanguard or just behind one of your other rear guards. Uh, when he just boosts a unit and that unit hits anything, you can counter boss one again when you have less cards than your opponent has in your in your hand, uh, and your opponent discards a card of their choosing. Uh, also have three Fuki, pretty much the same thing as Dreadmaster, but it's an act and it requires your opponent to have three or less cards in their hand. Uh, and then for the vanilla grade ones, because they're vanilla grade ones and they're your only choice. Uh, into the grade twos, we have four of the Tamahaganes. Um, you know, place on vanguard or rearguard, you're binding one of your opponent's rearguards uh, and they get it back into their hand after your turn. And then you got four of the Kokujuo. Uh, basically it gets plus 2,000 for every time you put a card, uh, or your opponent puts a card into their bind zone in, uh, during your turn. And then also just have one vanilla grade 2, uh, just because of the grade 0 uh, taking up a spot in the grade 1 and grade four, 2 lineup. And then in the grade 3s we have the break ride, which when you break ride into the main vanguard or into another break ride, your opponent discards one card from their hands and binds one card from their hand uh, face down on the field, or into the bind zone. Uh, and also it gives plus 1000 to vanguard. But and in the main vanguard, uh, when it attacks vanguard, it gets plus 10,000 if there's three units in the bind zone, and you also bind all of your opponent's uh, rearguards. Uh, the deck works okay. Um, if you have the okay setup, it works fantastically. And when you get the grade ones, when you get these grade ones and you're at the end game, you really make sure that your opponent is dying that turn. Uh, because you can either go from three cards to hand to zero or one cards in hand. And even if they do Miracle Heal, you're making sure they are dead beyond dead. Uh, so that's the deck list. I hope you guys like it. Uh, have any questions, just leave a comment, I guess.